Welcome everyone. In this section, we'll go through the Cisco Unified CCX product overview and its packaging. Okay, let's take a look at the overview of Cisco Unified CCX. Cisco Unified CCX is a Linux-based appliance. The appliance model is secure, resilient, and robust model that is less complex and provides for faster installs, easier upgrades, and less frequent patching. Till version 7.x, Unified CCX was installed in a Windows-based appliance. From 8.x, more specifically 8.0, Cisco migrated the platform to Linux-based appliance. Cisco Unified CCX can be deployed with Cisco Unified Communication Manager or Cisco Unified Communication Manager Business Edition such as B6000. From version 901, it doesn't support Cisco Unified SRST and Cisco Unified CME. Unified CCX provides option to address multiple contact center functional areas using a variety of server deployment models. Let's talk about those functions in brief in the next slide. Unified CCX is available in three different packages, standard, enhanced and premium. In this slide, we'll discuss about the futures of Unified CCX. The first one is inbound voice. So what is inbound voice? Let's take an example. Customers who call into the contact center will be serviced by CCX by providing various level of futures like basic prompts, such as playing messages to the caller and collect IVR inputs agent selection, custom queue announcements such as expected wait time in the queue or the position of the caller in the queue, and call recording, agent skill and competency based routing, ASR and TTS which is automated speech recognition and text to speech through MRCP supported third party servers such as Nuance and also it provides high availability failover. All CCS packages such as Standard, Enhanced, and Premium provides varying level of inbound voice features and functions such as ACD, IVR, agent and supervised desktop, real-time and historical reporting, and also some administration tools such as CCX administration and Cisco administrator desktop. Inbound voice is deployed on a single server or it can be called as non HA mode or two servers in a cluster that is called high availability cluster. So next topic is outbound voice. Outbound voice allows the agent to participate in outbound campaigns to make outbound calls in addition to handling inbound calls. When you upload a premium license, the outbound subsystem will be available to configure. With this feature, you can maintain high agent productivity by configuring contact center for automated outbound activities and allow agents who are not busy with the inbound calls to perform outbound calls. Outbound option supports three different types of outbound dialing modes. The first one is preview dialing. The agent can preview or see the customer information on the desktop using Cisco agent desktop application. And the agent can choose a contact to initiate an outbound call or can skip to another customer or you can even reject the call. So next one is predictive dialing. The dialer components determines the number of customers to dial per agent. The agent must take the call if logged into campaign skill group. That's the difference between the preview dialing and predictive dialing. Whereas in the case of preview dialing, the agent has the option to choose to take a call or skip or can reject the call. Whereas in the case of predictive dialing, the agent must take the call. So progressive dialing, the administrator specifies a fixed number of lines to dial per agent. Instead of dialer component detects the number of lines, the agent must take the calls if logged into the campaign skill group. So the major difference between the preview dialing has the option for the agent to choose or reject the call. Whereas in the case of predictive and progressive, he doesn't have the option to skip. 
he must have to take the call. And the difference between predictive dialing and progressive dialing is, in the case of predictive dialing, the dialer components determine the number of lines to make a call. Whereas in the case of progressive dialing, the administrator can manually input those number of lines to make a call for the agent. Outbound voice is deployed on the same server as inbound voice. Let's take a look at the inbound web chat. Unified CCX Premium provides a facility for end users to initiate a chat session with the agent from a website, typically the public website of the organization using Unified CCX. This is deployed on the same server as an inbound voice. The web chat functionality need a separate server on which Cisco Social Miner is deployed. For Social Miner, you need to purchase a separate license from Cisco. Social Miner accept the chat request, communicate with the unified CCX to allocate an agent for the chat, and then establish the chat session between the agent and end user. Cisco Unified CCX provides queuing functionality for the chat request from Social Miner, allocates agent, and monitor the chat session. Let's look at the reporting feature. Reporting provides an interface to download or view historical information from CCX system. There are two flavors of reportings available in CCX. The first one is historical reporting, and that is being there for a long time. Hachazi is a downloadable plugin that can be installed on a desktop or workstation machine. Historical reporting capable user can log in and schedule or generate reports. The second one is Cisco Unified Intelligence Center or CUIC. CUIC is a web-based reporting solution that is bundled with Unified CCX from version 9. And this flavor of reporting is there in Unified Contact Center enterprise-based system for a long time, but this is the first time Cisco introduced the CUIC to the CCX. Next, let's take a look at the call recording and monitoring. Call recording and monitoring is available in all different packages like standard, enhanced, and premium. The call recording and monitoring is used to record the agent call or silently monitor the agent call either from the supervisor desktop or it can be based on the workflow base. We'll discuss more about the recording and monitoring in detail in the future sections. Next one is Cisco Complaints Recording Quality Manager and Advanced Quality Manager provides call recording functionality. In addition, QM provides quality management and AQM provides screen recording, all or additional cost option. CR is available with all unified CCS packages, whereas QM and AQM are available only with unified CCS premium package. CR, QM, and AQM must be deployed on a separate dedicated server. CR, QM, and AQM are different from the native on-demand recording capability available with both Unified CCX, Enhanced, and Premium that we discussed in the last topic. You can deploy these options on Cisco Media Convergence Server, or Cisco Unified Computing Server, or a spec-spaced third-party server, which is approved by VMware such as HP or IBM MCS equivalent or for any of the functional components with the supporting deployment models. However, different functional components require different deployment models and high availability is only for inbound voice. In this slide, we'll discuss about the future's availability by unified CCX packaging. Let's talk about inbound voice without HA and with HA. Without HA is nothing but a standalone server. With HA is nothing but a cluster of two servers. A standalone is supported in all three different packages like premium, enhanced, and standard. Clustering is only supported in premium and enhanced, not in standard. Outbound dialer, which is supported in premium, but not on enhanced and standard. Outbound IVR that we discussed in the last slide that is available only with premium, not in other two packages. Agent, email, and web chat, remote monitoring, or silent monitoring that are available only with premium package. Call recording that is native call recording that is available with all the three different packages. QM, AQM, 
and WFM are available only with premium package. Cisco Unified Intelligence Center that is a reporting tool that is available with all three different packages. I hope we discussed about the reporting tools, the two flavors of reporting tools in the last section that is historical reporting and unified intelligent reporting. We can either select unified intelligence center or historical reporting from CCX administrator. We cannot use both the flavor of reporting at the same time. Okay, in this slide, we are going to discuss about Cisco Unified CCX licensing. So licensing for Unified Contact Center Express 9.x varies by the support of futures. All packaging in UCCX is based on per user license with the exception of inbound voice high availability which uses the special license called server software option license. So what are those two user license? One is a concurrent licensing, another one is named user licensing. Let's take a look at what is concurrent licensing. Let's take an example. A customer has three shifts, each of 100 users. So the total number of users is 300 unique users. In this condition, customers just have to purchase 100 users because what is concurrent? Concurrent says what is the number of active license that is, in, that is being in use. That means per shift there would be a maximum of 100 users would be logged into the system and utilize the system. So 100 license can be reused in each and every shift. So maximum 100 concurrent license is enough. Let's talk about the named user licensing. For example, customer has three shift of 100 users. So the total number of user is again going to be 300 unique user. But customer need to purchase 300 because the named user license is tied to the user ID of the agents or user ID of supervisors. So it cannot be reused by the other user who is working in a different shift. So that is the difference between concurrent and name. In the case of concurrent, it's not associated with the user ID. It depends on how many users logged into the system. Whereas name user license is tied up with the user ID. So it cannot be reused by the other unique user. So why do we need two different licensing types? Let's take a look at the next slide so that we'll better understand what is the purpose of two different user licensing. In this slide, we're going to talk about licensing by future. If you can see this here, on the right hand side, we have both concurrent licenses and named user licenses. These are needed, depends upon what kind of future we need in UCCX environment. For example, if you are only using inbound voice, either high availability or non high availability, for the user, we only need the concurrent license. There is a special license that we discussed, which is called server software option which is needed when we need the UCCX in a cluster with the two nodes. An outbound IVR, which is also using the concurrent licenses. Other features like recording, quality management, AQM, WFM, everything needs named user license because the user ID is tied up with the license. That's all about this section. I'll see you in the next section. Thanks for watching.